Have you thought about using one dough to make more than one type of bread? I will show you three variants by using one dough in this video. You will find the text of my audio in the description area below the video. The first bread is the homemade pineapple souffle bread. You will find the basic ingredients of the dough for the three kinds of bread here. You can also find them in the description area below. It's quite easy to use a kitchen mixer mixing the dough, but you can also knead the dough by hand. I can still remember my mom kneaded the dough by hand when I was a child. For me, it was quite interesting to see how my mom worked hardly with the dough while feeling very happy because we will have fresh bread shortly. Apply some vegetable oil in the container and also on the surface of the dough in order to keep the moisture of it. First, approve at a warm place for around one hour or to the double in size. Is it super amazing to see how the dough become bigger and bigger? You are welcome to share your comments with me. Press the air out of the dough, divide it into six pieces, form them gently. I love to touch the dough like touching on the fresh curtain. During the time my mom needed the dough, I would wish that I could get a just a small piece of it so that I could play with it. But I never got one. Rest for around 10 to 15 minutes. The ingredients for making butter wrappers are shown here. You will need uh, soft butter, sugar, all-purpose flour, baking powder. Divide the butter dough into six parts for the later use. For the glazing, we need two yolks and some milk. Take a small dough out, push the air out of it, and reform it to a small bread dough again. Apply a piece of plastic film. Put a butter dough onto it, using a rolling pin to roll out the small dough to a thin slice. Glazing the small dough and put it on the butter slice. Squeeze gently the slice to stick onto the bread dough.
Let's see one more time how we should form the bread dough with the butter wrapper. It's important to roll out the butter slice as thin as possible, so that the final bread will look great. Put the bread dough in a warm place for the second proof for around one hour or to the double in size. You will find the baking time and the temperature in the description area for the three breads. The second one is the spring onion bread. I will make three breads using this dough. As I should braid the dough later on, so I will need nine small parts. Knead and shape them gently. Rest around 10 to 15 minutes after that. Roll out a small dough by hand to form a long and thin strip. We will need three long strips to form a bread. Repeat the steps to make the rest of them. Put the bread dough in a warm place for second proof for one hour or to the double in size. The topping for the spring onion bread is mainly the small and the thin spring onion slices. You can see the ingredients used here for making the topping. Divide the onion slices into three parts to put on top of the bread evenly later on. Before putting the onion slices, Remember to glaze the breads first.
The third bread is the cheese bread. The dough can be used to make six cheese breads. So I divided the dough into 18 small parts. Form them as a small dough, rest for around 15 minutes. Compared to spring onion bread, the strips for this bread will be quite short. Seen at both ends, but plump in the middle. Put the three short strips together to braid them and form a bread. Let's see one more time. Glazing the bread dough softly before applying grounded cheese on top of the bread. The smell of this bread is quite great. It tasted sweet and soft. The softness is nearly the same as my mom's Chinese bread. When I think back to that time, the taste of the spring onion bread is also very nice. The smell of the onion is a bit the same as the Chinese bread fillings my mom made for our buns. Mmm, it was good. I'm not a fan of uh, different cheeses, but I love this uh, cheese bread so much. As the smell of uh, cheese is not so heavy, I'm very satisfied with the mixture of the taste of this bread. All in all, I love the three breads. You must try them. This is Danish Living. See you in my next video.